On the day of the storm, we didn't realize how big it was going to be. Our porch is gone. Our back wall of our house is knocked in. Glass, water. So we started um, trying to capture what we could of the things in the basement because we we're expecting this little guy. Um, and so we started moving all of those things that we didn't want to be rained on shortly after that. The ceiling collapsed in our basement and it was just like we were standing outside. We sat in the dark with flashlights until a neighbor came and picked us up from three houses down. They had a whole house generator. And we got down there and I realized I was in labor. It could have been so much worse. And so many people have it worse than we do. And I'm fortunate that I have my house. Despite the amount of destruction and the number of trees down, his hand was watching over us, for sure. It's amazing what y'all have done in a short period of time. I mean, truly astonishing. It's that servant heart, that showing your love of Christ through service and work. I left this morning, went to my appointment, came back, and I could see my backyard. That doesn't seem like a very big thing normally, you know? But right now, that's my heart saying, seeing that. I don't know what other communities are like. I've lived in Western North Carolina my whole life, and our community is resilient, but the services are gone now, right? National Guard's gone, and that's when the reality sets in, and you're still here. The fact that your organization is still here when almost everyone else has left and we are continue, this is the hard part, right? We are back at work. Our kids are back in school. There's still rebuilding to be done. That alone speaks volumes about where the heart of your organization lies. You have boots on the ground when other people have left. And that, having that support allows you to continue to feel that resilience. So because your group is here, serving, showing their love of Christ, in one aspect, it allows the resiliency of our community to continue to happen in other trickle-down ways. I'm eternally grateful, and that doesn't express nearly enough. But, people I've never met, may never see again, are showing their love to myself, my home, my family, my community, my state. And so it's just, it's so comforting to be on the other side and I'm eternally grateful.